welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, Yo. Uh, there is a craze out there. Have you heard of Stanley Cups? Not the hockey title? Yeah, I, I am familiar with the Stanley Cup craze. Are you, uh, are you Team uh, Yeti or Team Stanley? I am currently using a Yeti as we speak, but... Uh... Oh my god, you probably have an Android too. <laughs> That's hilarious because you know I have an Android. I know. I actually just upgraded my phone to the new Android 23. Oh, did you really? I didn't get it yet. They don't come out until the end of the month, but I did upgrade. Oh, nice. Where are you rocking right now? How old? I'm not. Look, man, why are we calling? Why are we talking about what I kind of fuck? Fuck you! <laughs> wow. I, I have the 22. <laughs> no, I have an S10. Oh, that's not that old. That is definitely that old, dude. It's You're gonna. Definitely... You, we were using mine when we were recording in the street. You're gonna notice a huge difference, man. Good for you. That. Upgrade your life. <laughs> um. Anywho. Anyway. Uh, I have an Android too. So, anyways, if you have an iPhone, I'm sorry. Uh. Anyway, Stanley put in the Cups. Comments. Stanley Cups. Stanley uh, Cups. not the hockey title. So, <laughs> it has been brought to my attention. Yes. That you know they're very much uh. Hard to get. People are stealing them. They, they've been on fire, so to speak. They have been selling like hotcakes. In fact, the Valentine's Day Cup calls the, uh, you know, like little mini riots at certain department stores. Are you serious? Was, yeah, absolutely. There Can was I the, just the watch the Stanley aisle and watch yeah. people fight over them? I, it was only for that one. It was kind of like, it's. I kind of feel like Stanley Cups are going like the whole Beanie Baby route where it's like, you know. People are like really excited about the special edition ones, but they aren't worth anything after you take them off they the shelves. They aren't. Like my dad used to have a Stanley thermos, mm -hmm. like in the eighties. So, uh, are you familiar with some of the reasons why these Stanley cups are currently so popular? Do you know why? Do you know why that no one should use one? I do, but go ahead. Oh, I want to hear. Tell it. me why they're so popular first. And okay, then we'll yeah, we should we should speak to the popularity. So, um, I will say is that this is not the one hundred percent cause of it, but it does help. Is that there's been a recent craze on TikTok where um, <clears throat> a certain demographic of people like to make what they call waters. This is my water for today. Oh no! And what they'll do is they'll take a Stanley cup and they'll fill it with water and ice. And then they'll add things to it. Like cough syrup? No, not necessarily. I mean, maybe. Okay, maybe you can I, make your own water and you can start with that. I thought they were going to do scissor or something. <laughs> Essentially, it? they make like these concoctions that start out as water but end up as like either sugary beverages or whatever. Um, so they'll take like, you know, they'll put like, I'll put like some mango and some cucumber in it and like some, uh, some oh, here's some glitter powder that I found. Some glitter. And I'll put in some high C uh, fruit mix and it essentially takes the water and then turns into like the sugary drink that has like, you know, a billion calories. Yeah, It's like a McDonald's parfait at this point. Um, so they've been blowing up on Twitter. Why do they do on, that? With, on X, or on uh, TikTok. Why couldn't they use a Yeti or just a plastic cup? Um, I, I mean, the Stanley's big. Stanley's are big. Okay. They're large cups. Oh, they're Drake cups. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does that reference even mean? Anyways, you, go you ahead. You're saying Drake's Mr. Big to you? I, I, that's what I hear. <laughs> Jonas watched the video between episodes. I did not. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, so I that's, got it on my phone. I'm so sorry. that's part of the reason is that there's been this influ influx on Twitter of just like people using these Stanley Cups to do their waters. And the kids are enjoying it because it's like creating a concoction. I remember when I was a kid, I used to go in the, kit I used to go in the bathroom and I'd put like dishwashing liquid in. And I'd put like a little bit of bleach and a little bit of ammonia down the sink and I'd pretend I was a shredder and I was trying to and kill you the kill turtles. yourself because it's literally death? I mean, I'm alive. I mean... It is mustard gas, though. Don't do that at all. <laughs> yeah, ammonia. Soap, ammonia, and bleach. You won't like... kill the turtles. You'll just kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you know yep. that they have admitted... Yep. <laughs> you know. Yep. So, if you don't know... Number two. They, uh, every Stanley Cup has lead in it. Yes. But. They have lead. Per Stanley. Yep. Hey, it says the pellet seals the product's vacuum insulation, and it's not accessible unless the stainless steel barrier comes off. Yeah, unless it's broken. Yeah, 
as long as you don't damage your Stanley, yeah, you're not exposed to lead. Yeah. And but if you damage the Stanley, then you can't drink out of it. So I mean, I get what they're saying. Why can't you drink out of it's damaged? It's a it's a cup, Jonas. If it's damaged, you can't drink out of the cup. It's not too many parts of a cup that you could break and still but I thought, maintain like, drinkability. I, but if it's just like the seal with all the keep you cold juice, oh, yeah. it's not it's not going to leak. It's just going to put lead right into your body. <laughs> A mainline I mean, lead into I your mean, gullet. If the, if the lead were to be accessed to the reservoir from whence you drink, yes, then the cup is damaged to the point where you can no longer drink from. No it. one knows it though. <laughs> I mean, I guess you've got a point. It's there. like Nobody running knows it. running water over a lead cup. What's it going to taste like? No, <laughs> I mean everybody's pretty aware that the Stanley Cups have lead in them at this point. Uh, I feel that that's not true. No, I mean, this has been in the news. No, I, I mean, about it. I don't even own a Stanley. No, no, I feel like it's not true that, like, it's not harmful. Oh, I mean, it had to pass regulations. Oh, yeah, so, so many things that pass regulations are good for us. They stated that they were trying to look for alternative means of, of uh, doing stuff. Now, see, now the weird thing is that they... Okay, so look, I have to shoot you some bail because I just remembered a certain part of the the uh, article that I read is that they did find traces of lead in some of the beverages that people were drinking. Yeah, um, I wonder why. Because it's full of goddamn lead. What are you, what are you going to do, Jonas? The Russians put the Stanley Cups here so that we could have them as Americans, all right? Is, are they Russian? I don't know. Probably. Why not? The Russians obviously want us all to die and want to bring down American lifestyle as a whole. Oh. So how else would you do it? You give them lead lined Stanley Cups and then make them drink a bunch of sugar water and then everybody dies. From Everyone fu gets fat and poisoned? Yeah. You either die from lead poisoning or diabetes. Wow. Yeah, Russians. Sounds like Putin has a plan. Yeah. I mean, you know, somebody has to have one. I, ain't you telling the truth? Are you going to buy a Stanley Cup? Never. I uh <laughs> Never. I don't even see the point in it. It's so big. They're so big and gaudy, man. Like they are large cups. We're talking about like big gulps. Like 48 ounce. Nah, I don't know if they're that much. But 24 ounces is too much to be fucking carrying around with you if you ask me. Well, I have a 32-ounce bottle. Yeah, that's too much. I use it when I play sports. Yeah, not when you, like, go to work. No, but I take it to the airport. I mean, yeah, when you go on a trip. But, like, the people are carrying these cups around with them, like, the entire day drinking their sugar waters. Dude. Oh, like, like, oh, let me go to the bank. I got to bring yeah. my Stanley in. It's like a purse poodle. Yeah, and it's like you don't even drink water like that. You don't even drink water, You know what would you know be great? What? If they did drink water like that. It would be, if but they're, they're drinking not. water out, out of here. They're not drinking Why water. Why aren't you drinking water? They're drinking freaking water with like freaking uh, essence of freaking cucumber Dude, in it. I will tell you what. I just I just, glitter. I just <laughs> I just traveled for work. Yeah. And in the lobby they had this big old water jug with like I don't know, it must have been like ten lemons just cut up in the water. Like lemons and oranges and like I got I was thirsty in the morning. I was parched. Lemon and oranges. Okay. Okay. And I uh and I like got a cup of that. I'm it waiting. was the some of the most satisfying shit I have really? ever drank. I was like God damn! Uh, really? There wasn't cucumbers and shit in it, but like, just they didn't like they didn't squeeze the stuff in it. They just like cut it up just and threw put it, in. it in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm sure they just keep filling it up all day. You know so what I mean? You just get like a little bit of like orange, a hint, an orange zest, a zesty little peach right in your gullet. Okay, John, I'm gonna tell you right now. I am a hydro homie. All right, 100. percent What the does that mean? I'm a hydro homie. I drink most. I drink primarily water. If not water, the only other thing I drink besides water is coffee. Yeah, I mean, so I'm a little biased. I'm a purist, and I'm like, if you're carrying a Stanley Cup, talking about your waters, and it's just like freaking it's like edible black tar heroin in your in your so I, if i see I'm not i'm not jocking a that. zoomer with a stanley cup i should be like hey there kids what's in your water is that what i should say to him no why shouldn't not say that to anybody <laughs> shouldn't say that to anybody why not because it's it's i don't know it's cringe uh cringe it's <laughs> wow i am not 
cringe. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, oh, don't say that. I'm cool, okay? Yeah, it's pretty cringe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You probably don't want to go around talking to kids. What the, what they got what's in drink. your water, buddy? <laughs> Let me see what's in your water cup, kids. Yeah. Yeah, you probably don't want to be that guy going around checking all the kids' water cups. I mean, they'd be of Just age. Saying. I'm not asking little children. So you're going around asking grown women what they have in their cup. Exactly. What's in their water? Okay. Now tell imagine, me about your water, girl. Some grown man came and asked you what you had in your cup. <laughs> I'd tell him none of your goddamn business. Okay then. And they could say that to me. <laughs> Maybe you should take your own advice. You already know the answer then. You don't even need to ask the question at this point. I have questions. I just think you want to harass women at this point. I want to harass people who carry Stanleys and they're drinking lead. So with the with the influx of Stanley, I do want to bring up the lady who stole like four thousand dollars worth of Stanley cups. Now these cups aren't cheap. They're going for like thirty five dollars a piece. That seems too. like a bad reason to go to jail. It is a bad reason to go to jail. They're thirty five dollars a piece. She stole like two thousand four thousand dollars, I think. I swear it was four. It was My. either two or four. Either way it was a felony. Oh, so that's whatever. worth it. Fel felony cup theft. I mean, <laughs> felony thermos seizure. Some people feel like they need to um, steal Stanley cups. I mean, look, man. Honestly, if you could resell them, like I said, these cups are going for thirty five dollars. So you're thinking thirty five dollars a steal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's pills you can buy for cheaper than that, and they don't hurt people. We're just talking about cups. Yeah, you ain't wrong. It's talking about going to the store, taking the Pokemon cards, using a portable dryer to loosen the glue, taking a rare out and sealing it back up. Nobody gets hurt. Oh, is that what happens? That's what happened. Yeah. Damn. Uh, yeah. You didn't think about that. Did that with day. MTG too. Yeah. We didn't think about that in our day. God damn. I wish we were smarter. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.